Hi, Trevor Tendai here and welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about the three herbs that were pivotal in me losing two and a half stone in a matter of weeks during lockdown. Stay tuned to find out what they are. At the beginning of lockdown, I decided to make massive changes to my nutritional choices. I had to detox my body of mucus, parasites, and I also needed a blood cleanser. And it was three herbs that I turned to to do this. It was sarsaparilla, burdock, and wormwood. Now, with wormwood, I use wormwood seven days in a row and don't use it for three months. So right here we have burdock root. And next to it is sarsaparilla. And then we have wormwood. just made a cup of wormwood tea right now and it's been steeping for 10 minutes and I have to say this is one of the worst worst herbs you're ever gonna take it's a bitter which means it's very good for you it will get rid of parasites if taken consistently over a period of time and it can be used internally as well as topically topically you can use this to treat wounds ulcers, insect bites, and acne. For those of you who have acne, wormwood is very, very good for that. So, here goes nothing. This is disgusting. They actually use this in absinthe as well. It's one of the uh, main ingredients in absinthe. Oh my God, this is awful. Oh, that is awful. So this is how I drink my wormwood tea. Where it's been steeping for 10 minutes, it's actually quite warm now, so I don't sip it. It's, it's disgusting. It's still a bit too hot. Oh, that is disgusting. <laughs> Why do I do this? So basically what, we, what you would do is you would use wormwood along two other ingredients. So what I mentioned was um, burdock and sarsaparilla. Burdock and sarsaparilla, I use them as blood cleansers. They're actually really good for, for cleansing your blood, um, cl cleansing your, uh, helping to heal your liver and get rid of all the toxins from your liver, your kidneys, and have them uh, function at, at, at an optimal level. So what you would do is you'd use this alongside burdock and sarsaparilla because what this would do is, let's say the burdock and sarsaparilla has killed all the parasites and stuff like that in your body. This then helps your body to secrete all the toxins, all the parasites and everything that the other herbs have killed. But for those more stubborn parasites and worms, especially this, this is amazing for worms. If you've got worms and you take this out consistently for a long uh, period of time, which means if you're trying to detox your body of worms, you have to cut out carbs, sugars, fruits, anything like that. And all you have to ingest is bitters. So you probably go on a wormwood tea and water diet for a prolonged period of time. So some some parasites, what they do is, when you start taking things like wormwood, they will go dormant. So they'll they'll wait it out because they'll be like, you know what, we can we're gonna play the long game. So you probably need to detox for worms for a period of like six weeks. I wouldn't suggest taking this for six weeks. I suggest rotating this. So I'll do this for seven days and then take something else, and then take something else and take something else. That's if you're 
really, really extreme with 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 your um, with your infections. Um, so I will be touching on that in another program. <sighs> I need to finish this. <laughs> There's not a lot left in there. It's not a lot, but oh my God, it is disgusting. Okay, come on, man up, man up. Let's do this. <laughs> wow. As I mentioned before, wormwood could be used to treat worms, depression, fever, uh, liver disease, gallbladder disease. It's good for loss of appetite. It's also good for treating muscle pain, intestinal spasm, memory loss. So, wormwood, use it. Burdock, which is native to Europe and Asia, has been used for a millennia to uh, treat kidneys, blood cleanser, relieving the lymphatic system, rheumatism, gout, stomach ailments, constipation, fever, infection, fluid retention, skin problems, and digestive issues. Now, the other one is sarsaparilla. Sarsaparilla is used for a lot of skin ailments such as psoriasis, rheumatoid arthritis, kidney problems, fluid retention again, syphilis, and gonorrhea. Okay, so in here, what I'm gonna put is two tablespoons of sarsaparilla, two tablespoons of burdock root, and then I'm going to add a liter of water. Bring it to the boil and let it simmer for five minutes and then let it steep for 10 minutes. Okay, so now I'll put it on the heat. I'm gonna bring it to the boil. I'm gonna keep an eye on it. Bring it to the boil, straight away turn the heat down, cover it and let it steep for 10 minutes. Something's happening. Right. Come back to that in a minute. Okay, so what we're looking for. Turn the heat down straight away. Once it starts bubbling, like so. And then cover. It there and then what you're going to do is you're going to do that for five minutes and then turn the heat off completely and then leave it to steep for 10 minutes turn the heat off completely and leave to steep okay time to transfer this into here Let's pour some of this out. Oh, that smells amazing. Yum, man. Sarsaparilla has a high content of iron, selenium, copper, calcium, magnesium, 
phosphorus. It's also got a good content of vitamins A, C, thamine. Burdock root is high in copper, calcium, selenium, thamine, magnesium, phosphorus, potassium, zinc, sodium. When it comes to cleansing your blood, you want three main things. Iron, calcium, copper, and um, vitamin D. Take copper out there. Vitamin D, calcium, iron. Those three help with each other's absorption. Vitamin D helps you to absorb calcium. Calcium helps you to absorb iron. If you're living in a country where there's loads of sunshine, you'll find that you're gonna be a lot healthier. But if you live in a country like where I do, where there's limited sunshine, then you have to figure out certain ways to get vitamin D into your system to help with the absorption of all the other minerals that you're gonna be ingesting. How I then get my vitamin D is from my mushrooms. I either leave them under UV light or under sunlight, biosynthesize the ergosterol finding mushrooms into vitamin D, which then works alongside the calcium and the iron. It's also very important that I note that these teas, these herbs that I take, do not work on their own in terms of helping me to lose two and a half stone in a matter of weeks. What helped me to lose two and a half stone in a matter of weeks was a combination of things. I detoxed using things like burdock, sarsaparilla, wormwood. I was helping to put the minerals back in my system using things like um, elderberry, sea moss. I was also at the same time juicing, having ginger and lemon in the morning or having fresh grapefruit juice with orange or just the grapefruit on its own. I was also having smoothies as well as juicing and lastly having homemade fresh vegan meals. Now another side to that secretion part. So number one, number two, you'll find that when you change your diet and you start taking uh, and you start eating a lot cleaner, you're going to start cleansing. And part of the cleansing process is getting rid of stuff that's been lodged within your digestive tract for years, some of it from birth. So you will find that you're going to the toilet six to eight times a day, maybe even more. A lot of the weight that we have and the inflammation that we have is not actually fat that's stored within our, our, our midriff. It's food that's lodged within our digestive tract that needs to come up, that needs to be dislodged. And the only way you're going to dislodge that is through detoxing, taking the right herbs and eating the right fibrous foods that will help to push all of that stuff out while drinking amazingly good H3-2O water. If you like this video, press the like button. Any questions you have, put them in the comment section below. And please, please, please share this video across all your networks. If you're new to my channel, press the subscribe button and the bell notification to be notified every time I post a new video. Thank you very much for stopping by and I'll see you very soon. Ciao for now.